Since its inception in 1948, black and minority ethnic people have been working in the NHS. Yet to this day, there is overwhelming evidence that black and minority ethnic staff experience more discrimination and receive less favorable treatment than their white counterparts. One of the key reasons the Workforce Race Equality Standard has been introduced is so we can live by the first principle of the NHS Constitution, which states there should be fairness and equality for all that come into contact with the service. That includes staff as well as patients. Another key reason is that the talents of people from different backgrounds is going untapped, and the NHS needs to redress this so we can deliver on the five-year forward view and ensure the health policies of today and of the future are fully inclusive. Organisations with a diverse leadership and workforce are more successful, innovative and sensitive to local health needs. Research also shows that a diverse workforce leads to better and safer care and increased patient satisfaction, and inclusivity leads to increased staff motivation and commitment, reduced sickness, fewer disciplinaries and tribunals, and as a result, less waste of valuable NHS resources. For there to be equality and fairness across the entire NHS, several interventions must be made simultaneously. There needs to be committed leadership and role models, constant communication of messages relating to fairness and equality, resources to support the work, and of course, measurable metrics. The Workforce Race Equality Standard is a set of metrics that requires all NHS providers with contracts over £200,000 to demonstrate progress against nine indicators. Each one designed to help identify the issues and challenges within organisations so they can develop and implement robust local action plans to show continuous improvements over time. We all have a responsibility to take steps to address workforce discrimination. With that in mind, there are 10 questions all NHS staff should ask which will help support successful implementation of the RES and in turn improve race equality and patient satisfaction. 1. Has your organisation published their annual RES data return? 2. Do their conclusions and actions reflect the data published? 3. Have BME staff had involvement with any issues arising from it? 4. Is there meaningful and sustained engagement with the local staff groups, including BME networks? 5. For indicators where there are significant gaps between BME and white staff, what action is being taken? 6. Is the organisation undertaking staff surveys across the entire workforce? 7. Is the percentage of BME staff responding to the surveys as high as that of white staff? 8. Are steps in place to ensure adequate levels of self-reporting on ethnicity? 9. Will BME staff concerns be heard by any upcoming CQC inspection teams? 10. Do employers within your region provide peer support to each other on these matters? Over time, the Workforce Race Equality Standard will help to improve the opportunities, experiences and working environment for BME staff, and in doing so, lead towards workplaces that are free from discrimination and improvements in the quality of care that all patients and communities need and deserve.